Hey Bremerton, Josh Farley from the Kitsap Sun here at El Balcon today. The votes are in and you've told us where to find the five best bites in all of Bremerton. Get ready to salivate on this very special edition of the Bremerton Bite Blast. Yeah, yeah. Welcome back to this edition of the Bremerton Bite Blast, sponsored by Rottweiler Motorcycles. Best Bite in Bremerton, number one today, comes to us from El Balcon on Pacific Avenue in downtown Bremerton. The pupusa is a dish that dates back to Mayan times, but it is relatively new still to Bremerton. It's an El Salvadorian favorite. Here's the story of how one local family came to Pacific Avenue in pursuit of a dream and how they made the pupusa one of the city's favorite eats. There was not a lot of people out here in this Kitsap area that knew what a pupusa was and uh, they would call it a pancake thing. That's what they would say, what's that pancake looking thing? Is it a pancake? It's like in about three days we'll go through a 50 pound bag of masa. We process the pork at one point, it's gonna be perfect to mix with the cheese. And we blend the, the cheese, like two different types of cheese to make the right flavor. Pretty much that's it. Sounds simple, but tastes really good <laughs> all together. I can't do it. You know, I'm Salvadorian descent. She's Mexican, but she nailed it. It's just all in the passion and the love and she has it. But when we came to Bremerton to sell pupusas on the street, customers, they were the best critics. And I don't want to say a bad critic, but they gave us the best. They're like, oh, that's too greasy, or that's too oily, or this, or that, or more of this, or more of that. It's been wonderful. It's been a great journey. To me, the pupusa is very special and very, very delicate to make. I make it with love. All the food we make in there is like from the heart to our family. Because to us, Bremerton is our family. Best Bite in Bremerton number two comes from Six Streets Island Hut. This is not a restaurant that's been in Bremerton for very long. However, its recipe for Hawaiian barbecue chicken goes back decades. And yes, if you must know, there is indeed a secret sauce. Well, I'm Samoan and my wife's Hawaiian. It's, it's really strong in the culture for us to learn how to cook from a very young age. I grew up in Honolulu, Hawaii. And I've been here for about 20 years now. It's beautiful. We love Washington, we love Bremerton. All the recipes that we basically use for all the food is all family recipe. Everything is from scratch. We make our own sauces from scratch. We marinate it. We give it about a day of marination. To me, it's like you've never had chicken like that. It's so tender and with the sauce, it hits all kinds of levels of taste buds in your mouth that you haven't experienced before, I think. The secret sauce, is a secret sauce. <laughs> I cannot reveal the secret sauce. Best Bite in Bremerton number three. What do you get when you put biscuit batter into a waffle iron and then you top it all off with a whole bunch of family recipe style gravy? You get the moon and you get it at Hilo's 15th Street Cafe in West Bremerton. So my name's Heidi and this is Lowell. That's where the high and the low comes from. Pretty much we just wanted to be uh, the little neighborhood spot. I wasn't going to actually have uh, biscuits and gravy on the, the menu because uh, of the fact that we weren't really quite sure how busy we were going to be. And typically if uh, you're not too busy and you make biscuits, they kind of sit around for a while and they can get stale and dried out. Moon Biscuits were created uh, New Year's Day 2006 by uh, Heidi's uh, brother Michael John and my bro-in-law. Uh, we were just messing around in the kitchen, uh, experimenting with things, and uh, it just kind of dawned on both of us that, well, if we put biscuit batter on the uh, Belgian waffle maker, uh, that would solve the problem. We could make them to order. Uh, they'd be fresh, crisp, and uh, delicious, and a little unique. It's basically my grandma's uh, gravy recipes. It's very simple. Well, I spent a lot of time in the kitchen with her. That's pretty much was one of my inspirations for cooking is my grandma, Hilda. Actually, Michael John thought I was, he, uh, I was joking that we were going to put it on the menu, and uh, to this day, he's quite surprised at uh, just how much it's taken off. It's definitely become one of our signature items here at the cafe. Yeah, I tell people, early bird gets the moon and come in with a plan B. 
<laughs> because we do sell out. <laughs> Best Bite in Bremerton number four comes to us from Manette. It is Matt Tender's double baked almond croissant at Saboteur Bakery. Tender cut his teeth at Michelin starred restaurants before opening a bakery here in Bremerton. He's created a buzz with both sweet and savory creations, but it is this one that resonated the most with the Bremerton Bite Blast voters. It's a staple uh, in most patisseries and uh, an almond croissant. People have a frame of reference when they order one, it's usually a, it's pretty classic. A lot of larger operations, you would take your technically day old croissants and turn them into twice bakes. Whereas for us, it's, we make just enough of everything. So um, I have to purposely make croissants just to make almond croissants. From starting to, to finish, about a 30 hour process, all said and done. So we make a nice croissant. Um, allow it to cool for about 12 hours, cut it, toast it, soak it in a syrup, put some almond cream on it, and then bake it again. It's good, it's nothing wrong with almonds and sugar. It's delicious. And finally, Best Bite in Bremerton number five today comes to us from Toro Lounge on Pacific Avenue. It is there that one of the most popular appetizers in the entire city is served. I talked with owner Carlos Hara about how he came up with the idea to take a date and wrap it in a slice of bacon. Since we opened up in 2011, part of our goal was to change our menu regularly so we wouldn't have a static menu. So we have fun in what we do. We were out having dinner at some point in 2012 ordered stuff dates at a uh, restaurant and we're like, these are great. How can we make them better though? So when I came back, uh, talked to my staff here back then, we played around with it for a little bit. And finally, after a couple of weeks of trying different ways to put them together, we came down with our own recipe that is solid. On occasion, we can not source uh, dates. Uh, it's a, it's a item that is not very popular. We actually use 100% organic medjool dates. And it's not something you can go order. Even our own uh, food distributor doesn't even carry them. So we have to find a, a source. And once we find our source, we kind of stick with that for a while. But we take the medjool date. It's actually a larger date. Uh, we bring them in here, and our staff in the kitchen actually pits them. So it takes a little while. There's no easy tool for medjool date because it's bigger uh, than most dates. So we have to do it by hand. From that point, we actually stuff them with turmeric and goose goat cheese. Then we wrap them in bacon and put three to a skewer, and then we plate them two skewers to a plate. At that point, we cook them off, uh, put them on the plate, and then drizzle our own house-made balsamic reduction on it with a little garnishment on there. And there you have it, meat candy. There's your five best bites of Bremerton for 2017. Really speaks to the amazing diversity of the city that we live in, that these amazing creations are here for us to eat. That's only the first round of the Bremerton Bite Blast, however. Now we need your help in whittling the five down to just one champion. And at 7 p.m. on June 30th at Dog Days Brewery right behind me, we will unveil a winner. So again, go and cast your vote to www.kitsapsun.com slash bite blast and declare us a winner. That's going to do it for the Bremerton Bite Blast this week. I hope you have a great rest of your week. Music for this week's Bremerton Bite Blast was provided by Bremerton musicians Dave Hawkins and Tim Holy Cross. Well, I got your heart.